Hello, tight bastard in Manchester, England, I believe it's pronounced. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. Again, I hope that's how that's pronounced. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I may be seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and I'm going to show everyone else from both sides of the pond how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut. The transition's extra active with the blue flash mirror for the Polo 2202 color 5284, which is the matte black in the 55 eye size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Polo sends it to me. You've got your Italian leather Polo case. Open that up. You've got your Polo cleaning cloth. And the star of the show, the main attraction, comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. It's got the Polo brand. It's got their shield. Um, it's a red, white, and blue. I wonder what color, what country's colors that could be. Um, but anyway, oh, you know what? I should have worn the English rugby shirt that I have and the, the soccer World Cup team. Yes, I said soccer. I could, There'll be subtitles in this video to explain what the word soccer means uh, for those of you across the pond who do not understand. But let me pop out the, the original demo lenses that you'll receive. I should preface this by saying that he has gotten several pairs of glasses from me over the years, and uh, but just lenses. This is the first time the tight bastard in his previous videos, I called him Cheap Bastard, but again, I'll have to supply the... means the same thing, but there'll be subtitles below to explain in America what tight means to people in England. But I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker, but I forgot something. Hang on, the magic of television. Ta-da! How do you like that? In the last video I did for him, I got a newspaper out and I was reading recipes. It happened to be a blueberry recipe. I don't even remember, but he told me. So, I had some blueberry plants at home, so I brought those in to use as a prop. I've still got the flowers on these. Yes, I do have a blueberry fetish. I cannot grow enough of them. I love them. Eat them fresh all the time. These even have the blueberries on there. This variety is sunshine blue because, tight bastard, you are my sunshine blue. You are my sunshine blue. You make me happy when your English skies are gray. <laughs> You'll never know, dear. How much I miss my singing lessons. Okay, so, where was I at? Oh, yeah, okay, so, program the shape into the computer. And now for something completely different. The reason why I program the numbers that years from now, should you ever need new lenses for your frames, I can uh, mail them right to your home, and you can pop them in yourself. That's right, I'm not working for you anymore once I get these shipped. So I'm going to hit the start button, a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine authentic polo frame that I offer and you receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Now, I accept MasterCard, Visa, Discover, and Amex through the website. Health Savings Account Flex cards are not accepted through the website, so you just have to go to the Contact Me page of, of the website. Can I say that one more time? Website, website, website. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. But yeah, just call me up. That is my phone number, number nine, number nine. He always brings out the silliness in me. But uh, call me up and I can take your flex card over the phone. Now, I am considered out of network for insurances, but I can still provide you with an itemized receipt that you will get uh, your out of network reimbursement from that. And of course, people in England are like, what's insurance? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> uh, you guys are covered. All right, so let's move on to the next screen. Yeah. The, uh, all right, I'll leave that alone. I'll leave that alone. So pupillary distance, 33.5 for each eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button twice because it goes up in half millimeter, millimeter increments to 33.5. I want to raise the optical center up 2 millimeters. And I'm going to mark the measurement that I put there. Now, I have a 50-50 chance to guess which is the right lens, which is the left lens, and I'm sure I'm going to get them wrong no matter which I do. So the... Prescription for the right eye. These are essentially kind of weak reading glasses, if you will. Plus a quarter, minus a quarter at 90. That's 180. That's the opposite of 90. Now we're on 90. Put everything on zero. 
Let's get some fresh ink in here, shall we? Inky, inky, inky. By the way, I do want to wish a belated happy birthday to Ada, his daughter, who just turned eight. Only ten more years and you don't have to live in the house with him anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Hit the rewind button. Okay, yeah, Ada, you're going to love the next ten years of your life living in the house with him. He's such a great supportive dad. Uh, has a nice garden in the backyard. Of course, garden, I think it means yard to you. And yad to anyone in Boston. But uh, I got to go out in my garden today, which literally is my vegetable and flower garden. And it's in my backyard. And do a lot of weeding by hand. I'm taking my GoPro camera with me. And I'm going to show everyone the glorious side of being an organic gardener. Meaning weeding by hand. You're going to see on my hands and knees doing that. But until then, let's do the easy work. Put the power drum on plus a quarter. Grab one miscellaneous lens. Rotate it. And it doesn't become clear, so something tells me that's not the right lens. Let's do that with this one. Hey, stuff's coming into focus. So, let's get everything lined up where it's supposed to be. Is that where it's supposed to be? Is it? Is it? Is it? Plus a quarter. Minus a quarter. Hey, we're on to something now. The... Well, that is just on the 180, isn't it? Plano on the 180, plus a quarter on the 90. So I don't know where the center of the lens is because there's no power there. So really, it doesn't even matter what his pupillary distance is. It doesn't even matter what his prescription is. I'm just guessing at that, too. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Although you have to screw up royally, no pun intended, to mess up this prescription. Actually, okay, so your left eye, you will have a little bit. Oh, what's that? The inky, inky, inky. Don't worry, I just use this. Someone with the coronavirus was coughing real heavily, and I handed him this. Let me wipe the, your glasses down with that, too. Okay, so, right lens down. Let's do the same thing for the left. Turn it to plus 75. I shouldn't joke about that, either. What that is, is when I these pins... And when they come down, can you see how some you don't see in my videos? You can see how they raise up. And when I put my thumb against it, that's why it's got those three dots from there when I put my thumb. Bad habit. Let's start doing this. Okay, so plus 50. Put the lens in, rotate until the spherical component comes into view. Let's see where that's centered. That looks good. Check the astigmatism correction. Everything's lining up perfectly. Now let's try doing this thing. Putting my fingers over that to stop the ink from getting on there. Look, it's on there now. All right, now I'm done with the tissue. And label this one L. L is Latin for not right. So, and if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> Ada, you can tell that one in school. You'll get some big laughs from it. So this is a block. This is not your block. I'm not using it for this video. These are your blocks. I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers before and after. But I've got two of them up here. So let's go ahead and pull these away. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to line this up onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Now, Tight Bastard has the ability to stay awake very late at night. He emails me when it's like 3 in the morning in England. And uh, that makes, I guess, 10 p.m. my time and other times during the day. But I don't know how he manages to go without sleep. So, but I will say one thing. He has a camera in the back of his house. It's been years. I've never really told him. So now's the time. I guess his motion activated and it went off and there was a, a bolt of lightning and he had a picture that he posted on social media. It was absolutely amazing when you can catch a lightning bolt in action. So, the reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. So I'm going to line up those dots. The blue cross is the, is the geometric center of the frame. Your eye is just above that in inset. So we're going to get everything lined up there. Make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. Line up the, well, 
pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. By the way, that silver reflectant is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another arm, another magnet there in the arm, I should say. And I will say, get everything lined up in there perfectly. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now, amongst all the shrubbery, <laughs> these are the knights that say, me, do your worst. Um, behind the shrubbery is the edger. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it in your forest. And uh, when animals with huge, sharp teeth come along, you can cut your own lenses at home. And you won't need this guy with the ink stains on the fingers and the two thumbs to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond-crusted wheel that's going to grind away. Uh-oh, it brought in a little bug. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to spray you. I'm organic. We covered that earlier. Weren't you paying attention? Come on. We talked about this already. So, this is a... Gonna, is a diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. And I'm trying to think of any Python, Monty Python jokes with a, with a bug in it. Now there was the bee named Eric who was indeed half a bee. Um, Alright, I'm, I'm going to think of a Monty Python joke. What a little tiny fly. What a little tiny one. <laughs> so, I will slap you with a fish. <laughs> Another obscure reference. People have no idea what's going on. So, and now for something completely different. I'm getting back to work. So, these are polycarbonate. i got to work around you. Come on now. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. And that concludes your vocabulary lesson of the day. Now, I'm going to place the magnet into the chuck, or by now you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that the lens is large enough to go into the frame. And you can see as it's tracing out the shape of the right lens. And of course the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Hey, this is a good time to bring this up. You get my new cleaning cloths. Look, with all the brands that I sell, Oakley, Versace, Ray-Ban, Polo, Marco, the BMW, Silhouette, Moto, Cazal, 420, Ultum, Kayla, Realtree, Harley-Davidson, Penguin, 06, amongst others. All the lenses I offer, the Zeiss, the Essilor, Shamir, all my social media, the different mirror coatings on there. How about that? No more of my old lenses, those dark blue ones that were terrible. But just hard to read. I was down to, down to the dregs. But uh, your lenses are cutting dry because, again, these are polycarbonate lenses. Polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact ballistics-grade lens materials. As the tight bastard discovered, he was mowing in his yard one day and his mower hit a tent peg. His mower exploded, hit his glasses, broke the frame right in the middle, right between the eyes when the piece of metal flew up and hit him. But the doctor told him the only reason he still had eyes was because he was wearing the unbreakable lenses. So he's a testament. There's about three other people that told me that they caught a rock to the eye or something else and their lens did not break and they still have their eyes thanks to the lens material of my choice that I upgrade everyone to for free when they buy a frame from me. But it also has 100% UVA, UVB protection built into the lens. Now you have the Transitions Extra Active, which has the blue mirror on the front that looks like uh, DuraVision Platinum or Grisol Sapphire. <laughs> places, everyone, places. Tout le monde. Um, but uh, you have the mirror coating on the front. Essilor has its own proprietary back surface anti-glare on there. They won't tell me which one it is. Now you have the transitions extra active through the whole lens. The extra active also blocks 50 to 70% of the harmful blue light you hear being discussed nowadays. 
So you have the mirror on the front, the extra active the way through it, the blue light protection through it, the anti-glare coating on the back surface of the lens, the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable polycarbonate, 100% UVA, UVB protection. You're fully covered in this lens, but you can still stub your toe. That I can't help you with. There is no known cure for that. <laughs> so, these are some pretty flowers, aren't they? Little bell-shaped ones. Isn't that kind of cool? And then they fall off. They get pollinated. There's little dark spots in the center. And then eventually, they grow blueberries. They swell up. Also known as rabbit eye. Because I guess to somebody early on, that looked like a rabbit eye. And they call that this variety. Isn't it this variety? Let's see. Nutrition facts. Low in saturated fat, cholesterol, and sodium. A good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, and manganese. Oh, by the way, I have good news. Starting tomorrow, all lenses will be mercury-free. So, <laughs> whoever buys from me tomorrow, you got that going for you. Tight bastard? Yeah, well, you'll just have to rub mercury on your eye every day. So, we're going to tuck this in at the outside corner, see if it fits first time around. And it does not, so I'm going to take it down about a tenth of a millimeter, put it in, hit a retouch, and again, it's just going to drop down to the bevel wheel. It's not going to go to the cutting wheel. It's going to take off a tenth of a millimeter all the way around till it snaps in there easily. I don't like forcing the lenses in there. I want it to, uh, if these are in there too tight. A lot of places that are in a hurry will use heat. I only use heat on the temples to adjust it or sometimes at the hinge here. Never when inserting, well I shouldn't say never, it's very very rare I use it to insert the lens. But if the lens were too large it would cause the frame to stretch or what we in the optical industry call roll. If you can imagine your frame being like a gutter, if the lens were too large it would cause the bottom of the frame to roll outwards giving you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shortening the life of your frame. You want a perfectionist like me? So this is the first video I've started using these. I guess that's going to happen. I guess that's going to happen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to learn to clip this up somehow. So, it's so silky and smooth, the vibration's making it fall right off. But yeah, so, the reason it rolls at the bottom is this is the thinnest part of your frame. You have thicker components here. And that's where the force is applied. Or the effect is demonstrated, demonstrated. So, I like how different words are used. The same word is pronounced differently in different countries. Of course, it's done here that way. But, uh, leisure is what we say here. Leisure there. And, let's see if it tucks in. Now it goes in there easily. Let's flip that over. My favorite one is for Popsicle. They're called Ice Lolly. And I thought that was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever heard until someone explained, well, you have a lollipop this is just an ice lolly and i was like well damn i have to admit that does make sense all right so flip that over to l place the magnet into the chuck the charles the chucky baby the chuckarama or today i'm calling it the ada hit the green start button the door closes the clamp shuts the lens again will be traced by the two wide styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame anyone ever put their head into a blueberry bush so All right, you've seen that, let's move on. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the prescription. This is known as final inspection. By the way, let me explain that I am a professional. Have you not figured that out yet? I went to college for this and bribed my way through college. No, the, I actually did score the highest in my class, actually the highest in the physics part of all this and the school's history, the history of the state board exam that after I graduate, I have to take. As, I struggled through school with it, but I made the highest score ever because I studied and studied and studied and studied and studied. And did I mention I made the highest score on the hardest exam of the eight exams I have to pass to become a licensed optician? I had this, the highest in the state history. And then the lowest professional standards after that. <laughs> so, why do I say the lowest standards? Because I keep selling to this guy. I need to raise my standards and cut this guy off. So, I am a licensed optician. I offer VIP service. I kid, I joke a lot. I'm a, I'm a joke cracker. I've been known to crack jokes, but I do offer VIP service in the sense that as far as you know, 
anyone out there watching <laughs> that I'm the only licensed optician, the person who actually went to college for this, who answers every email, who reviews every order placed on the internet, who places the order for every pair of lenses after inspecting the prescription, matching the curvature of the frame, taking into account the pupillary to the horizontal distance, the vertical for every thing, never having a person in front of me to go by. I cut every lens, I do every part of the final inspection, which is what I'm doing here to inspect the prescription. To explain all of that, I do that for free. To wrap everything up to email, I send pictures of everything on top of the shipping label before I ship. Everyone who's received from me knows that. I wrap everything up, send pictures of the final product in the box that you'll be receiving. I email everyone, personally thanking them. Handwritten notes, I write everyone a three-page poem. <laughs> and, uh, okay, that starts tomorrow, too, with the mercury-free lenses. But, um, but, yeah, no other person on the Internet does that. They're all machine operators, and there's nothing against them. I started off that way before going to college and realizing I was going to make a career out of this. In fact, people ask me, and they tell me, I wish I could find a job that I love, because I see the passion coming through with what I do. And I tell people, don't wait for you find the job you love. Take any job. Take this with you take any job up 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 you can't be hiding look I got a co-star did you go to college for this but find any job and then learn to love it don't wait for the perfect job to come along look I haven't even inspected this can I remind you again I'm professional <laughs> I actually remember a line from Margaret Thatcher referring to being powerful is the same thing as being a lady if you have to tell people that you are then you're not so let me remind you that I'm professional because I don't think I am. All right, so I'm going to tuck this in, snap down that goes in there. Although I do have a piece of paper, the highest score ever that I am a professional. Now, in the very first video, I, I kept this on one of his lenses. So when he got this in the mail, that was still there on the, he is the only person I've ever done that for. And he actually requested that. But how about if I just put it on the cleaning cloth instead? I'll just ruin it. Put a little eyeball there. Can I do that there? We'll figure it out. Ooh, I know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to save it right here for now. He's getting another pair of sunglass lenses for a, a different project. I will stick it on the packet of those lenses. So, let's come down here, do a final inspection. I'm going to spin the axis wheel from 75 back to 90, which corresponds to the right eye. Put it in over that black dot. Read the power. I'm getting plus a quarter, one tick mark away from zero into the pluses in the black color. The red color has a minus symbol, but you need a plus, the small amount of magnification possible. Now, having said that, you have the smallest amount of astigmatism correction you can have. He also has smaller amounts of other things, but that's another video. So, but that's at the 90th meridian. We're going to turn this a quarter. He has the smallest amount of patience for me, I can tell you that. So when we check the second curvature, we're at zero. Plus a quarter, minus a quarter equals zero. We got a theme here, the left eye, plus 50 minus 50 at 75. So I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 75 as I hiccup. Which I believe hiccup is the first uh, symptom of the coronavirus. So put it in over that black dot. Read the power. Plus 50 into the blacks. Let me read that, and we're back to zero, right before the minuses in the, in the reds. So, next part of the final inspection, pupillary distance, 33.5 for the right, 33.5 for the left, for a total of 67. Place the PD stick against my card, against my finger on the right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 67 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. But you decided not to raise your family in the U.S. or be born there or to ever step foot here. I don't know, you may have been here. God, I hope you don't come looking for me. But I do charge $35 for international shipping. The way I do that is another optician in California texting me. Let's see, what time is it here? 11.13, so it's 8.13 a.m. in California. He's... I'm, he's on the left coast. I'm on the correct coast. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, international shipping. So, I charge $35 up front. 
because it just varies from every country that I ship to with the weights and things like that. So I charge $35 up front. If the actual amount to ship to you is $15, then I would refund $20 back to your PayPal account. If the actual shipping amount to your country is $21, I refund $14 back to your PayPal account. Now, if it's, if it's $38 or $40, which does happen, I pay the overage. You're only going to pay $35. Now, sometimes when there's a little bit of overage, say there's $14 extra, and I see that it's $14, $15, $16, $17 dollars to expedite the shipping, I will email that person. If they want to spend the extra money and not get a refund for faster shipping, we can do that too. I use the U.S. Post Office, Postal Service, just first class mail. But this is what they look like the first time before they have been activated. I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now you can see the blue mirror on the front. It looks like an anti-glare coating on steroids. I've got the blue protect violet color, purple color on mine. I just wanted to try it out and see what it was like. I prefer the Duravision Platinum or Crizal Sapphire. It actually looks like it has the blue of that. But just more, in, the mirror is more intense. Now the unique thing, which I can't figure out how they did, you have that same color on the back of the lens, even though there's an anti-glare color. But once these are activated, you will see the green of the anti-glare color coating. Coating color, color coating. So, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now this is important. Everyone pay attention, and you too. All photochromic transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, having said that, these transitions are extra active, will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now you can see the blue mirror on the front of the lens now. When I turn it over now you can see the green. I don't know how they do that, but it's the green of the anti-glare. Now when you look out, you see the gray. When people look at you, they're going to see the blue mirror at certain angles and certain lighting outside. Now if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, the regular photochromic transitions lenses will get dark there. Now they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Having said that, I don't know if it ever gets 100 degrees in England, or do you guys use Celsius, because I have no clue what that is. It, actually, Celsius does make sense. Water freezes at zero and water boils at 100. That does make a lot of sense. That's easy to remember, but no one does things the easy way here in the States. So, water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at, what, 212, I believe it is? But anyway, as I keep talking, you can see these get lighter and lighter. Now, do me a favor. Like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frames and lenses as they become available. You can... Follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. Tight Bastard, I almost called you by your real name. Tight Bastard, send me a. I ask everyone for a selfie request one picture inside, one picture outside. I would love for you to send me two, and you can actually occasionally hashtag me using the at symbol Free Prescription Lenses. That'll go straight to my Instagram account or on Facebook, however you want to do that. I would appreciate that. The Again, thank you so much for the purchase, for taking your life savings and spending to buy the... By the way, yes, this frame. The Polo 2202 sells for $192 at the time of this video. The Transitions Extra Active is $129.99. The Mirror Coating is $69.99 for a total of... Before your international shipping rates... For a total of $391.98. Now, everyone else in America is tax-free. I don't know what England charges as the VAT, the value-added tax. When they find out that I made these, they're going to probably charge more because I'm, I'm a celebrity. I'm, I'm kind of a big deal in his home. <laughs> so, but uh, It's tax-free here in America because I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device, and there's no tax on medical devices. 
but if anyone else were to my average the sales tax here is 7.5 percent so if you were to buy these online from someone else you'd pay about 29 dollars and 39 cents to someone else on the internet that you don't have to pay when you purchase from me but thanks again for the purchase of the polo 2202 with your transitions extra active gray lenses and the blue flash mirror and now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Don't forget to eat your blueberries, everyone, and then floss.